Number six, Futurama. Now, uh, being a big uh, Simpsons fan, uh, it's obvious that I'm going to have at least given Futurama a try. And I do think Futurama's really, really funny. I think what they've done is they've uh, they've made fun of the present and the past by setting it in the future. Like, they sort of exaggerated everything so much. They've sort of brought everything that's happening now, they've sort of brought it to a much, much larger scale. And the only problem with Futurama is, um, well, if technology really is getting good in a thousand years' time, if Futurama is still going to be available for viewing, it's not going to be funny at all. Because, like... Either it's right and it's all real, or they've just got it completely backwards and it's nothing like real life at all. And that's a problem, so really we need to be focusing on on Futurama now. So, Family Guy. In my opinion, there's nothing, nothing to Family Guy. There's no, there's no morals in it, there's no messages, it's just vulgar, ridiculous, politically incorrect humour from start to finish. It's just hilarious, nothing else. Uh, South Park is my number four, uh, and I say that because while well, South Park's also politically incorrect, and... Uh, I love just how Trey Parker and Matt Stone have kept it together for all these years. You know, they've been they've been on the air for thirteen years now, and they're still ma managing it all themselves. I mean, The Simpsons. Matt Groening is an executive producer and occasionally a writer, and he's more he's more really just a franchise for The Simpsons now. But Trey Parker and Matt Stone are still really devoted to it. They're still writing, they're still directing and producing and voicing. And what can I say? Good on you, guys. And they're not afraid of anything. They're not afraid of lawsuits. Number three is Angel. Um, being a big Buffyverse fan... I thought it would make sense to have sort of Buffy and Angel hand in hand, but to tell you the truth, I like Buffy just that little bit more, so that's why I've put Angel number three. Uh, see, what I like about Angel is it follows lots of different themes. It follows like horror and action and drama and romance and comedy, but it's all sort of... Uh, done through the use of a detective agency so it's got that more CSI feel to it and certainly the last scene's got like a law and order sort of uh, theme to it um, and I just love how the main character, Angel obviously, um, does everything that he can for three reasons one, because He's on the road to redemption. Two, because he's trying to fulfil the Shanshu prophecy. And three, because he just cares. You know, he's he's a good man when he's got a soul. In fact, I'd say he, he's a good man, no matter what happens. When he becomes angelic, or he, evil as he may be, he is very clever. Um, and... You, you can't help it, Angel is just clever. Uh, the reason I prefer Buffy the Vampire Slayer is mainly because I understand it a bit more. Uh, but also because it focuses on the main character more than Angel does. Uh, Angel is v it's a very loose title. Angel, although Angel is the only character who's a regular from start to finish, it focuses on all the characters individually. It focuses on Cordelia and Wesley and Gunn, Fred, Lorne, Connor, Doyle, 
harmony spike. It focuses on, on all of them individually, whereas Buffy, uh, everything that happens in it is seen through Buffy's eyes. Um, and so, whenever something bad happens, you tend to feel Buffy's pain a bit more. So you feel you feel sort of that attachment to to the Buffy character sometimes. And my number one is uh, if you've got a drum kit handy or even just a pair of bongos, uh, you might want to do a little drum roll for yourself now because I don't really have anything to drum on. Uh, computer table doesn't work very well. Uh, yeah, my number one is The Simpsons, of course. Um, the Simpsons is funny. It's not as funny as some things, but it is funny. I, fi I find it just more more brilliant than it is funny. Um, you know, it doesn't matter whether you like it or, or hate it. You, you've at least seen The Simpsons at some point, whether, whether that be the television show or whether you've seen the movie or whether you've played any of the games or whether you've just been walking around a shop and you've seen Simpsons something. You can't go anywhere without there being Simpsons somewhere there. Um, I've grown up with it. I've been watching it since I was like two. You know. Yeah, you know, I've I've grown. You know, I love the characters. I love the stories. I love the songs. It there's something in the Simpsons for absolutely everyone. There really is. And. It's it's just brilliant. I don't know how one show can can have such big voice actors as Tony Blair and the Rolling Stones and you know most of the Beatles are in it individually and it's got like J.K. Rowling in it and Rupert Murdoch and just everybody, every famous person that ever existed has been on The Simpsons. So that's my top ten shows. Uh, if you'd like to, oh dear, if you'd like to post yours in the comments or message me or whatever, please do because I'm I can't do a video for everybody individually. I'm afraid, but yeah, if you want to do that, that'd be cool. I'll be around probably after Cropperty. I'm going to Cropperty next week. Um, you'll see me actually on. Uh, than our property blog, me and Elvis two o one. We have. A, I'll stick it on the description for you. Um, it's property blog on YouTube. We're going to be blogging our way through the festival. Uh, I'll be filming some of the artists. Some will be filming on the vlogs. We'll be wandering around with our Sony handy cams out. That isn't a euphemism. I genuinely mean cameras. Um, I've said genuinely far too many times today, it's just wrong. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you soon.